You must be Len. I am. Please come up and join us for a moment. So this is a uh, rosé, a Pinot Noir. We make this uh, from our best grapes. This has a nose, it has a taste. The, the key elements of, of wine, and particularly a Pinot Noir, even a, even a rosé, a Pinot Noir, uh, is, uh, is that there, A, should be balanced. But the three basic things is that there's a nose, you, can, you have a smell, that the taste, they call it the mid-palate, is consistent with the smell, and the aftertaste, or the finish, is long and also consistent. Now we can enjoy the, uh, the Pinot Noir, which, which is the hardest uh, often conceived of. I don't want to start an argument with other winemakers or things, but basically this is generally considered the hardest wine to make. It's a very thin grape. Uh, the balances are very, and in the farming it is, is a very difficult thing. There's a, it's a many layered grape. Uh, it doesn't have that much tannin. You just really have to do this right to get it. So, uh, uh, so this, this is really a, uh, it's one reason we attracted our winemaker here. I mean, you know, uh, uh, you know she I wanted to make I saw pitch. one of your Pinots won a 97 point. Yeah, just That's right. Um, and this has a nose, just pops out at you from way, you don't have to put your nose way in the glass, although it's good to do so. Okay, so what'd you guys think? Great. What was your favorite? I liked them all. What was your favorite, Mark? The 07 Pinot. You like that? Yeah, it was great. It what was... about the rosé? Are you a rosé kind of guy? You don't seem like a rosé kind of guy. I never drink rosé, but you put that rosé in front of me, I will consume it quickly. <laughs> it, was, it was really good. And now we're off to Osmosis Spa. Ready to get your spa on? Oh, I'm ready. Absolutely. service for you today. This tea that I'm going to serve you actually works in conjunction with the enzyme bath. It's a nice part of your treatment. So what can you tell us about the enzyme bath? Neither one of us has done this before. It's a really wonderful heat treatment and what's so unique about it is it's generating its heat biologically through a process of fermentation. The bath has over 600 active plant enzymes that are catalyzing the different woods in the bath to undergo a fermentation process, and the heat is a byproduct of that process. What inspired this from you? Now, you spent some time in Japan, I understand. I did. I went over to Japan to study the traditional landscape gardening and meditation, and in the process, I stumbled across this amazing enzyme bath and from the minute I sunk inside of it, I knew it was my calling to bring it back to the United States. You designed all this stuff? Well, actually, um, I collaborated with some fantastic uh, associates to do this, uh, including Robert Ketchell from England, who's one of the preeminent Japanese landscape gardeners probably on the planet right now. Nice. And Steve Stuckey, who is a Zen priest landscaper, now head of San Francisco Zen Center. So we, we had a lot of intention to create a meditative environment here. Your massage therapists are wonderful, and you can actually have massage in a pagoda or in a standard massage room, right? That's right, and uh, we're really happy to have been working for 25 years now with an absolutely fantastic community of very gifted healers who are really motivated in their own personal development as well as their own massage technique to really uh, create the most elevated and profound massage experience you could imagine. We've had a great day. We started our day with wine. We took a little break for the Osmosis Spa, which was amazing. And now we're back to wine. But I need to say, arigatou gozaimasu. Doitashimashite.